So those cheese to your right hand side where Rick is going guys, those are all cinnamon cheese. Now cinnamon is a spice that comes from the bark guys, we extract the bark. But to do that from planting until harvesting it takes three years, three years, three or four years. So to harvest the cinnamon now we have to prune the branches and once we chop the branches from the main plant itself, it will not kill the tree guys. It's like an advantage whereby it regrows extra shoes that we can use again. So after cutting out the branches, we um, take them out to our drying room and we get a knife and scrape out the outer bark and the inner bark that we would extract from the wood. And after extracting the barks now, we spread them flat on the drying um, screens and within two or three weeks time, these barks will roll or curl back with the help of the sunlight and that's how we get um, cinnamon sticks. So you have to peel it? So just kind of peel it and then we just spread them out and they will roll back like it's that. It's like the stem that you use. It's the bark that we use, yeah, then comes the stem, the wood, we don't use that. And um, people would buy, sometimes people buy it from us, you know, um, they would use it for barbecue because it has charcoal and if you use allspice wood or cinnamon wood for smoking meat or fish, you can use um, for barbecuing, it, it smells like cinnamon, the meat smells like cinnamon because of the kind of wood that you would Cinnamon. So people would go to extent of boiling the leaves for making tea from it. They would make tea. Alright then. So if you guys don't mind, you can nibble on the stem. This little stem here. You'll get the cinnamon flavor. Alright, you get the cinnamon flavor. No. And these are different kinds of bamboo guys. We have this spiny bamboo which is like a nursery for birds and different um, um, uh, songbirds as well. And also like for iguanas. So, and um, we also have the, the yellow bamboo which is commonly seen and grown short. But this is the plan that they had before was to make the cement around and try to keep it together like that. But um, it's very invasive. It grows about an inch every day, guys. Huh? Therefore, to, to this bamboo here is one of the tallest grass in the world. And we also have the ring bamboo because of the knobs on the stem. And then the elephant bamboo to your right hand side, which most people use like for fishing poles or fishing rods. They would cut it green and dry it out and they would use it like that. It's lighter to use. All right, okay. Beautiful flowers called as the pink placenta. The pink is not the flower guys, it's the yellow part. Pollinators from afar. So check out the pink right there, it's beautiful, beautiful. But that's not the flower, the flower is the yellow inside. Uh, a lot of people, something that we learn every day. Yes, yes, know? indeed. I think this is a whole lot of information that I'm passing. So yes. um, it's, it's good to know. Okay, so this is a flower, the little yellow one, and these yeah. are the, how you call them, is that? Modified leaves. Modified leaves. It's a colorful leaf, so to yes. Oh, wow. We have umbrella palm, we have aloe veras, and now we have the foxtail palm on the second row. The one on the third row, guys, is called as the um, Bismarck palm with a gray leaf. A lot of people refer to it as silver palms. Okay. And in front of the Bismarck, we have the ponytail palm with a poor tree head. Right there is a ponytail. Back there in the middle, guys, is the mahogany tree, which is the national tree of Belize. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. yeah. That's over 50 or 60 years. Mahogany, and then we have more bougainvillea, and we also have alamanda. 
This right here guys is the wedding spot. We have done about two or three big local weddings here before. The mm -hmm. ceremony is usually held here and the reception is done back in the center of Manhattan. Mm -hmm. so this that's one time they had the chance to stay I do I will I'm sorry, right? <laughs> <laughs> the worst spot might be under the bridge, but anyway, <laughs> so another blue sky vine is trying to fuck here. You don't have the divorce station. <laughs> Maybe we can get it. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. Oh, vanilla. Oh, These trees are vanilla trees. No, no, no the, the vines. vines. Oh, the vines. Vine. Uh, the trees are magic cacao. I'm familiar with magic cacao, right? So, vanilla is an orchid, guys. Yeah, vanilla beans is where Rick is touching it. Vanilla beans are pods, whatever you guys want to call it. So, um, if it's an orchid, like I said, it needs support, shade, and the lines are for irrigation. So, usually at the, at the end of every vanilla bean, there's a flower guys, they produce a flower and that happens in March, in March, April and May guys. So um, like I said, every bean has their own flower. In the flower there's a stem, in the flower there's a stem guys which is called the rostellum which holds both of the male and the female parts. But the female has a gap guys, it has a covering and that's why it's very difficult for any bee or any hummingbird to pollinate the flower. So we are the pollinators guys, we have to hand pollinate every single vanilla flower in order to get just one single vanilla bean manually by hand and we use a toothpick we use a toothpick to reach every flowers guys and the hard part is that and even the flowers now gives us an open window of six hours of reaching them and remember we have six acres on our farm so we have guys running through every row you know checking every flower and if these guys are missing a flower we're losing a bean and if they're accidentally breaking a flower, then we also lose a bean as well. So um, they're very labor intensive to work with. And the plant, you know, when planting a young one, it takes close to like five years before it produces for its first time. So when dry season comes around, the reason why we use I, um, these magic cacao is because they're nitrogen fixing trees. They're widely used in agriculture and for live fencing as well. It's because they hold their leaves during the dry season, guys. You know, when dry season comes, we start prune. And then new branches come like now and you're right, that's so guys. Because a lot of typical tree, it could be soft or hardwood, guys, they will shed their leaf. If we had them growing on hardwood trees, the sunlight will pass through and they will shrink and they have a potential of dying out. And now we don't want to plant again and wait for five years to make them produce. Right? So we try to do anything to kind of work our way out, so to speak. So after pollination, wait for five months. That's like their maximum size. So the tip of the bean will turn yellow, and that's how we know when they're ripe. 
So we pick them again every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And we kind of process them. We boil them down. We ferment them so that the vanilla aroma starts developing. And after that, we dry them out for another two or three more months. And that's when time these beans will turn black. Turn brown. And that's how people would buy them. So it takes about a year, guys. One year. Or over a year before you fully process. These are pandana which are just ornamental plants. They're related to the red mangroves and pandana. String that is hanging down from the branches will eventually be roots and keep on expanding. Hawaii, they have um, their native there and they have one of the largest ones. People would do it actually walk underneath and people would build homes underneath the grow. So a big tree, sacred tree to them. Last spice for this afternoon tour, guys, is black pepper. So these vines that are wrapped around the trees here are all 10 acres of black pepper, guys. So these are what we pick, you know, peppercorns. And we use a ladder for picking every single one, guys. We pick one by one, guys. You know? And we dry them out and they would go black and that's how we get black pepper. You can break one and smell. You can also bite into one. It's very spicy guys. When you bite one it will wake you up. The thing has to live it.
has been a pleasure like always guys so with that said thank you folks for coming and you guys have a good one keep enjoying the rest of the day and be safe okay thank, thank you, you. Again, and just a reminder make sure you guys have your phones, your purse, your bags, your personal belongings with you. Okay, okay. so. Oh no, I'm not going to